Welcome back to the Graham Stephan Show. So don't you hate it when you see these day in the life of an entrepreneur that are not realistic at all and they're driving around Lamborghinis and just flashing cash everywhere? Well, uh, how about this, guys? Today we got a realistic day in the life of a 23-year-old entrepreneur from none other than Jensen Tung. So uh, without further ado, let's see if this video is indeed actually realistic. Right after, of course, you subscribe and hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm because it helps me out tremendously. And now with that said, Let's begin. My name is Jensen. I'm a 23. I was literally kidding, and the first thing that we see is a Lamborghini in a mansion. How realistic is this? There's, there's no way this is realistic. Unless he's driving his dad's car and living at his parents' house while he has an e-commerce business on Shopify that uh, barely makes $20 a day and his parents are pressuring him to go back to college. But he says no because he listened to a Gary V speech who told him that college was for you know people who couldn't forge their own path and his parents are telling him that he has to make real money and, and become an adult but he keeps pushing back and they're threatening to kick him out. That would be a realistic story. But uh, nope, let's uh, keep going here. I'm gonna show you my morning routine, work schedule, and uh, wait, yo, dude, you're playing the wrong footage. That's not my life. <laughs> I know the typical thing to do on YouTube is to flex. Ah, he got me. He got me. That is great. See, we're going to get a realistic day in life. I want to see him driving a uh, Toyota Prius, working out at 24-hour fitness, working basically 16 hours a day, and making minimum wage. That's going to be the realistic day in the life. But let's see. My day begins at 10 a.m. Not 5 a.m. like others, because I have come to terms with being a night owl. But when I wake up, I don't waste time and get my day going as soon as possible. That's interesting. You know, I've tried so many different things, by the way. Of Like, I've woken up late. I've worked late. I've woken up really early. I've gone to bed early. I have to say objectively, as someone who is naturally a night owl, I do get the most productive work done when I wake up as early as possible and I go to bed early. And I say that as a night owl. So I would implore you to do something similar, but there is something about just getting started early and getting a head start before anyone else has a chance to get anything done. It's just you feel more productive, and because of that, I think you're likely to stay more productive throughout the day. Just try it. I think it might be worth it. I wash up, brush my teeth, post some pre-recorded TikToks, and catch up on emails and news. I also spend some time reading your comments on my videos. That's a great way to get people to comment because I read all the comments too on my channel. And I do my best to respond to as many comments as possible in the first hour and uh, sometimes within the first day. So if you guys are watching this and you want to comment, most likely I will see it. I don't eat breakfast because I practice intermittent fasting. Not only do I find health benefits with it, but it makes it convenient for me to get straight to work on my three businesses. I find the exact same thing. I prefer not to eat a heavy breakfast because for some reason, afterwards it slows me down. So my preference is I'll have a coffee, I'll get some of the most productive work done early on in the morning before I have a single bite to eat. And then usually after about two to three hours, I'll have a small snack, another two to three hours, and then I'll eat a uh, light lunch, another few hours, and like a heavier dinner. But once I have dinner, like, I'm done for the rest of the day. So it's once I have a heavy meal, it slows me down. The first one is my YouTube channel, Jensen Tung. I make videos for you to watch. I work with sponsors, the classic social media influencer business. The second is the agency arm of Jensen Tung, where I do client work for companies and brands. This includes marketing, content creation, and consulting. The third is Storage Hotel, a full service storage company where we make storage incredibly convenient by picking up, storing, and delivering our customers' items. That's nice. See, the thing with him is that you know exactly how he makes money. I cannot stand the people who, uh, they're entrepreneurs, and they tell you what they do, and you don't understand. You're like, how do you make money doing that? And, and they go into all these buzzwords, so like, yeah, we, we are the, you know, we try to democratize the blank to the blank, and we take clients from over here, and we boost up their day, and I'm like, I don't get it. I don't get it. If I can't understand how you make money in like 20 seconds, uh, it's a scam. <laughs> it's not really, but you get the idea. It's like, I like his business because you understand what it is. Around 2 p.m. is when I have breakfast or lunch or brunch, uh, whatever it is. Today we're having BBQ pork fried rice. That is pretty good. Now, you, I, I'm guessing he's living with his parents. I'm guessing because we, we don't see the rest of the house. Like, I will say as an entrepreneur, you try not to do that much work from your bedroom. Like, if you have a living room or something like that, you just naturally tend to gravitate towards other areas. Uh, and yeah, nothing wrong with that. I, I would actually, I would encourage him to uh, to live with his parents as long as possible because it's going to save him a ton of money. And I think most people should live with their parents as long as it's not hindering their ability to uh, basically be an adult and have those experiences. But just something to point out because that will make his overhead cost significantly lower. And uh, at the end of the day, listen, I think it's a good thing. 
This is the time when I get to take a break and remind myself that I'm a human, not a robot. I watch YouTube, listen to podcasts, and play Landlord Go, which is today's video sponsor. Ooh, that is a slick segue into a sponsorship like bankrollcoffee.com that you can now order because this is my own coffee company. And as an entrepreneur, it's really important to make sure you get your coffee from a locally roasted and ethically sourced uh, manufacturer like Bankroll Coffee, who also delivers it right to your door at a quick and efficient price. After my break and working for a few more hours, I then go to work out. Oh man, way to flex on us. Literally and figuratively, this guy is jacked. Gosh, you know, you know, it's, it's nuts. As soon as I hit 30, I don't know what it is, like, like in my 20s, it was so much easier to like kind of stay in shape and people are like, hey, but Graham, you're in shape, you go to the gym. Yeah, it's, it's my, my belly. I, I cannot seem to get rid of the belly fat. And I've been doing cardio, I've been running, and uh, that, that's the thing, at 23 years old, you could do this, no problem. At, at 31 now, it takes a whole other level of commitment to, uh, to have that sort of physique. Instead of going to the playground, I thought, why not I bring you guys on a bike ride to the beach. Along the way, we're gonna play around with this thing. This is the Insta360 ONE X2. It is a 360 camera. Let's try it out. I was about to say this is another sponsor. This is the camera who just so happens to also be sponsoring today's video. Let's give them a talk. You know, that would be perfect to do two sponsors in one video. Growing up, I didn't dream to be an entrepreneur specifically. Uh, does he have an affiliate link to this? He better. Ah, uh, yep, 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 he does. And uh, so he's making money left and right from this. For most of my childhood, I pretty much followed the traditional path. I studied hard, I got good grades, I went to university to study business. Ah, uh, she lives in a gorgeous neighborhood. It almost looks like the neighborhood that we saw at the very beginning of the video. Maybe he was actually driving his parents' car at his parents' house, because this is a lovely neighborhood. I was expecting when I graduated to live a traditional business life, but I think it was around 2019 when I kind of realized. Wow, solid shot. I love this. His videography skills here are perfect. So we've made it onto the beach, and as you can see, it is beautiful. The sun is shining. As you saw, the Insta360 ONE X2 is crazy. The shots you can get on this, it's like you're in a video game. It's so unique and I'm definitely gonna be using more of it in the future. So one of the beautiful things about entrepreneurship is that you can go to the beach in the middle of the day. Yeah, true, but I have to say as an entrepreneur, you uh, rarely get time to do stuff like that. If anything, you would think that like, oh, I could plan my day to have the afternoon off and then get back to work. You come to realize that if you want to stay on top of like what you're doing and be good at it and continue that growth and momentum, like you can't afford to take stuff like this off. Rarely. I've, the, the, the serious people that I've seen who really excel at anything that they do, especially if you're running your own business, they don't take time off like this. They'll schedule it out precisely on a day that they know they could kind of take off, but this this is definitely not a regular occurrence for a lot of people. For most of my life, I lacked self-confidence. I didn't really believe in the things I could do. So to take this leap, it was kind of scary, but after one year, I've kind of realized when these risks are there, it really empowers you to push and do the best you can do and achieve the things that you thought you couldn't achieve in the past. A lot of people are scared of entrepreneurship because of the anxiety, because of the unknown. With a normal job, you can already predict what's gonna happen in a couple of years. You're gonna get a promotion, you might move jobs. And I'm kind of predicting he's gonna pitch us now in an entrepreneur program. So he sold us on this app, then he sold us on the camera, and then it's like, if we want the lifestyle to be able to do all this, got a program down below in the description. Uh, actually, I'm gonna look. Did he, is he doing this? Um. No. Oh, he's doing consulting, kind of. But listen, in eight minutes, he's packing in punch after punch after punch after pitch after punch. He's, he's doing a good job. My hair's been getting a little bit long, so I'm now gonna cut my own hair. I mean, it's not a Jensen Tongue video if I don't. <laughs> I believe that it's really important to have a hobby or activity that's separate from work because entrepreneurship often blends the personal life and the work life together and it can be stressful sometimes. So to have a way to just forget about all the work. Oh man, it's more product placements like every minute. And the thing is, I can't be upset at him because he's doing a good job. It's like, it's not too in your face, but I know what's going on. He's linked to all of these things and uh, it's working. It's working really well. So, what do you think? Pretty fresh, pretty fresh? I'm feeling fresh, I can tell you that. Pretty good haircut. How does he do it? How is he good at everything? How does... Listen, if he ever fails at all of his other businesses, he could just open up a barber shop. 
So it is the evening now and this is when I eat dinner and actually get back to work. Yeah, the work doesn't stop after 5 p.m. It actually continues until 2 a.m. That's entrepreneurship for you. But instead of hopping onto the computer, I'm actually me building a standing desk with y'all. So let's cut to the building. What? This is, this is entrepreneurship building a desk? This, this, this should not be included in work hours. This, this is extracurricular activities that are taking time away from you making more money. This is something I'd be like, Mom, Dad, build the desk. I need, I need your desk to work, Mom. And just get your parents to build it. That's what I would do. Then there are height adjustable desks. They're typically newer on the market, more of an investment and harder to build. Again, it's another product placement. This guy is selling everything. I I listen, if I, could, if I could sell MacBook Pros and dinosaur skulls, man, I would. This guy is just a marketing genius. They can be better for your health in the long run. Both ultimately provide the same thing. It's just all up to the user's preference. I hope you know where I'm getting at with this metaphor. I don't believe there's a right way to approach our career. Hope where you're getting with this metaphor because the link to this desk is down below in the description where you can buy it now using my code Jensen for 15% off. I wish that's what he said. What I do think though is that everyone should be proactive in seeking what career path works for them. Maybe it is entrepreneurship. Maybe it's actually a nine to five. Maybe it's both. But if you don't try, you'll never know. No matter which path you pursue, I've learned that it's important to have patience. Great filming. Great filling. I'm looking at all of this, all the different shots he's getting, and uh, it's well done. He's a, he's a mini entrepreneurial Casey Neistat. At the end of the day, nobody's gonna save you except for yourself. There is no Prince Charming in your story. So if you wanna make your life something, you're the one to do it. The question is, what do you want your life to be? And with that, I'm gonna call it a day. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, subscribe if you haven't already. Now uh, there's another pitch. So uh, you know what? He's probably had like six good pitches in an eight minute video. So like every 60 to 90 seconds pitch, 60 to 90 seconds pitch, great video, well thought out. You can't dislike the guy. I mean, he's just, he seems nice. He seems honest. And I gotta watch more of his videos, but overall, 10 out of 10 video. I like this guy already. I'll watch more of his videos. And with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, add me on Instagram, and until next time.